Hello, Virgos. Virgos, I am so sorry, you guys. I have not read for you guys in a while, but I am here because I've been busy on other platforms. So, But I hope all is well with you, and I think we're still in the middle of a Mercury retrograde. I could be wrong. Okay, I've just been so off lately, busy with life. So anyway, this ain't about me. This is about you. Um, I hope all is well with you guys. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. But we're just going to get right into it. Um, please feel free to subscribe. And um, thank you for giving me the honor to be able to read for you guys. And if you would like to have a, um, a reading, the information will be just below the video. Okay, so Virgo, this is going to be for you. Your energy. Let's see what's going on with you. Oh my goodness. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus spirit. Let's see. Oh shit. Oh shit. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. What you want to tell us? Okay, the Ace of Cups here in reverse. A big disappointment, but you're healing from it. Somebody's wish. Okay, the Queen of Wands here in reverse. Hmm. Okay, then you have the King of Swords here. You have the world card here in reverse, and then you have the eight of wands here in reverse. So Virgo, who is this fire energy here that is causing all this confusion, okay? I feel like there, there's some healing that needs to go on in a situation, okay? Maybe this is you, Virgo, with the star card here trying to heal a situation, but something here is, is, is not completed yet. I feel like Virgo looking at this reading there's a huge disappointment here. We're going to figure out what it is with this Ace of Cups. That's what you started off with. And below here is the King of Swords here. Um, so that could possibly represent a lawyer. Um, for, I don't know why I'm feeling like counseling. Maybe someone here is going through counseling. Then you have the World card here. So something is not finished. Something is still going. So this is why you have the Star card here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But then you have the Queen of Wands here in reverse here. And the eight of wands here reverse here. So this is either some arguments are being taking place, or there's a clash here, or there's a miscommunication in something. Um, I don't know what's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the ten of pentacles here. The ten of pentacles here in reverse, which means it is a split up. Okay, it could be a loss of money, a loss of a home, but there's a separation that's going on here. This could also be you, um, Virgo, too, as well, being the king of swords. Like, you're trying to do everything the right way, but then you have this energy here with this queen of swords here that is just not happening. And this is why um, this is why um, the star card is in the middle of this, because there's, like, a lot of healing that needs to go on with this. Hold on for a second. I don't know why I'm hearing not traveling. So something here is slowing down. Slowing down. I'm getting that energy too with that uh with the world card here in reverse and the eight of wands here. Okay. Let's see. Let's get on into it. Okay, what is this ace of cups here in reverse here? And maybe you, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's a situation that you have healed and moved on. Virgo, I don't know. What is this Ace of Cups here in reverse here for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. Why is this Ace of Cups here in reverse here, Spirit? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. This Ace of Cups here in reverse here, Spirit. Y'all, excuse my cards, because they've been used for a while. Ha, ha, ha. And it's so hard. They get kind of like flimsy, flimsy. This Ace of Cups here in reverse here. Spirit. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What you want to tell us? I'm hearing a lot of a, a lot of crying. The Six of Cups here. Somebody from the fam, past. So this could be a family situation that's going on. Crying memories. Someone holding on to some type of memory. Okay. Memories about the past or memories the way it used to be. Okay. What is this star card? This could either be you, Virgo, or the Cross Watch or your person. Okay, or it could be a family member. What is this star card here, Spirit? What is this healing about here for Virgo? Trying to balance things out. Oh, shoot. I don't know what. Ah, y'all. What is this star card here, Spirit, for Virgo? What's this star card here, Spirit? A 
somebody wishing that things could be back the way it used to be. The two of swords here. So I'm getting the energy like, okay, with that star card here, someone is secretly, secretly wishing that things could be back the way it used to be. And it's not. Okay, so this is a person's wish. They wish they can heal this possibly with you, Virgo. Make their wrongs right is what I'm getting here. What is this? Um, And this, this King of Swords here could possibly be a lawyer too as well. Because remember now at the bottom of the deck, there was a Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What is this Queen of Wands? Who is this Queen of Wands spirit? What you want to tell us about this Queen of Wands? In reverse here spirit for um Virgo. What's, oh, shoot. What is going on? It's like as if though it don't even want me to give out the message. What is this um, Queen of Wands here in reverse here spirit for, for Virgo? Jeez Louise. So with that Wheel of Fortune, I'm getting here like this has been going on over a period of time. And I feel like something just snapped the King of Cups here in reverse. Okay, there is somebody here. You got two people. You got a female and masculine energy, but it may not be gender, you know, gender specific. Okay. <laughs> King of Cups in reverse and a Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody that, that that's a hard person to deal with. This individuals or these individuals, you know what? This may even be a couple. Could it possibly be your parents? I just feel like somebody is ganging up on you. But yet someone here is wishing that things could be back the way it used to be. And somebody is crying about this whole situation. The Queen of the King of Cups is someone who is not, they're not emotionally available. Um, they don't have no heart. The same as the Queen of Wands here. Someone who goes, who goes and do shit, who do petty shit. It's like you're dealing with Team Petty here. Okay? You're dealing with Team Petty here. Let me see. What is this King of Swords here, Spirit? What is this King of Swords here, Spirit? Here we go. It's not on card. What is this King of Swords here, Spirit? For Virgo. This King of Swords here, Spirit, for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's this King of Swords here? What's this King of Swords here, Spirit, for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Spirit. Okay, the Justice card here. Okay. Somebody here trying to be fair, but then... Justice card here reverses like someone here is going to get their karma. It's it's like if you look at this King of Swords, I'm just getting the energy like, look what you did. Look at what you did. I feel like, Virgo, you were being loyal, but then here comes the Justice card here. What's this in her hand? Hold on. Damn, it's like, I just not noticed that. It's like on um, one of her hands is, oh, Jesus. It's like one of her hands is like, uh, if you can see this, look at that. You see her hand there? It's like it's a skeleton, okay? There's something I want to say about that, but I don't know how to put it into words. I don't know how to, no, I'm going to have to come back to that because I'm, I'm trying to figure out how should I say it. Let's see, what is this world card here in reverse? What is this incompletion about? What is this world card here? Someone here definitely did not do right by you, Virgo, or you didn't do right by someone. What is this world card here, Spirit? What is this world card here? In reverse for Virgo Spirit. See, yeah, you released yourself, so now you independently... You're doing everything on your own. And I just, and I feel like you're being watched too as well. 
Even though the page of swords is not here, you're, you're being watched. I'm here. I supported you no matter what. And you still cut my throat. I think that's what I'm trying to say about this justice card here in reverse. Let me see. What is this eight of wands here in reverse here, spirit? Why communication slowed down? You see, when I say you're being watched, look how the page of swords come out. And the three of cups here is in reverse. Okay, so you're being watched, but someone's not, someone's unhappy, have isolated themselves, possibly depressed. This Ace of Cups, heavily crying, holding on to the memories of you. Somebody wishing, wishing that, they can, that they can heal a situation, but I feel like, Virgo, you are blocked off from this. But you're being watched from the front and the back, Virgo, you're being watched. Then you got the Queen of Wands here in reverse and the King, King of Cups in reverse, a King and a Queen. This means that this people, this person or these people are giving big energy of causing chaos, okay? And then I feel like since the healing didn't take place, this is when you left. The devil card here in reverse, Capricorn energy, this is when you left. You realize, okay, there's no, there's no need of um, continuing this. I'm just going to release myself. I'm not going to let this hold me back. You're not going to put me in any of your chaos. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, so then it's possibly why this eight of wands is here in reverse because you slowly but surely cut off communication. You stop communicating with them or this is just totally arguments. Okay, or it was and that's the reason why you, you realize you wasn't going to get anywhere with this person. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. And like I said, the counseling possibly took place too as well. What is this eight of wands here in reverse here for Virgo? And you're basically too typing, typing in, tapping in into your higher self. Okay. What is this eight of wands here in reverse? What's this eight of wands here in reverse? Okay. The seven of pentacles here. Yeah. You're no longer feeding into it. You're not going to harvest into this. You're not going to. You know, it's sort of like feeding into a narcissist energy. You know, like they want you to respond a certain way. But like I said, somebody thinking about the memories. Is it somebody's coming back? Um, somebody from the past or this is either just family memories. And like I said, but you close off. Someone wants to heal this with you. Someone wants to heal this or you want to heal it. Some heal it, some type of wish. Somebody is wishing things could be like it was in the past. But I feel like, like I said, Virgo, you was a loyal one. You realized that this shit wasn't going to work and you left. And here's the three of cups here in reverse here again. That's what I'm getting here. I don't have the eight of cups that's sitting here, but this is the energy that I'm getting. Seven of pentacles, okay? And with the seven of pentacles in reverse and the eight of wands, this could even have possibly have been dealing in dealing with money too. Maybe there has been a split up deal, an argument dealing with money. And something here went wrong, but somebody is with that ace of cups in reverse. Like somebody is really feeling it in this situation. What is this um six of cups here? And um this ace of cups here, spirit. This um six of cups here and this ace of cups in reverse here, spirit for Virgo. What is this about, spirit? Cups here, spirit, and this ace of cups here in reverse for Virgo. What is this about, spirit? Let's see. The page of swords. That's why I say somebody's watching you from the front and the back. Somebody, and, and you know, somebody, and they're really curious about you. I'm getting so many, but it's somebody from the past, but they're crying over you. And I feel like this person going to come when you least expect it. And you may not even be um, thinking about this individual. You may, listen, this could be somebody from seven years ago. I don't know. But like I said, I'm getting from family members too as well. Maybe this is what it is. It's like this King of Cups, King of Cups in, um, card in reverse and this Queen of Wands. Maybe it was like a situation to where the situation was too toxic that you was dealing in with it. But I feel like you're closed off here with this two of swords here. Stalemate, a decision need to be made. Or maybe this person's like, I'm, you know, they're going to decide they're going to try to heal this with you. 
But I feel like you are setting your sights off somewhere else and you're not realizing what's coming behind you. And you more than likely on, Vir on Virgo, you are healing from the situation too as well. But I think it's not coming from a place where you're trying to contact somebody. I feel like it's coming from a place where there, you, you know, you're just working on your higher self right now. Eight of Wands in reverse, not communicating. So something here, if you think about it, the Six of Pentacles comes first. That means that there was something that you was giving into and then all of a sudden you just stopped with the Seven of Pentacles and you said, okay, this is as far as it's going to go. Let me see. What is this Two of Swords here, Spirit? In the Star card here for Virgo. Two of Swords here in the Star card here for Virgo, Spirit. See, when I said that, I seen a Devil card here. Okay? Two of Swords here in the Star card here for Virgo, here, Spirit. What is this? Okay, yep, you moved on. Either that's you moved on or this person is coming quickly behind you when you least expect it. I'm telling you, moving, gain from, from momentum. Okay, so okay, so look, with the chariot card here, could be dealing, dealing with the cancer, going from light to dark. So you, for some of y'all, y'all was in like a dark place, like a dark night of the soul, and you have moved on from the situation. You're healing, and I feel like this is the reason why you're not, you, you, you got away from it quick. Okay, because with that chariot, that's all about momentum and moving forward. You got away, um, away from the situation real quick. You got tired of it. What is this Queen of Wands here in reverse here, Spirit, and this King of Cups here for Virgo in reverse? <clears throat> Queen of Wands here in reverse here, and the King of Cups here in the reverse for Virgo. You see. Because you know to stay in that situation, whatever that relationship was, it was toxic. Six of Swords in reverse is like not movement, no movement. You moved on. <clears throat> you moved and you're here. But someone is still saying it's staying in the same toxic place. And this is why you realize that this could not be healed here. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, and you just remove it. Incomplete. Maybe it was a time, like I said, you were trying to heal the situation. Okay, you're not feeling complete, not feeling whole, not feeling um, appreciated, not feeling on top of the world, however you want to say it. What is this justice card here? But I'm going to tell you this right now, this justice card here in reverse, um, they're going to get their karma. What is this justice card here in reverse here? And I just feel like looking at some of these cards that some of y'all just really isolated yourself to heal. Okay, what's this Justice card here in reverse here, Spirit? And this King of Swords here for Virgo. Justice card here in reverse here. And this the Devil card showed up again. And this King of Swords here for Virgo. What is this? Yep, the Death card. You put it to an end because you got tired of it. You got tired of the situation. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio on your own chart. Checkmate. Checkmate. Time and time again, you got tired of it. Okay, what is this um, devil card here in reverse and the world card? You going where you going to make all things new. What is this devil card here in reverse here and the world card here, Spirit? For Virgo. Devil card here in reverse and the world card here in reverse for Virgo. Yep, the two of coins here. The balancing act. I feel like dealing with this person or those type of energy, that's why you released yourself. So now you're trying to just juggle, you know, or maybe it was a sense of that you were being juggled with this person, a third party situation. Okay, everything was like a walking on eggshells, I feel, dealing like with this person. And you just got tired of this feeling emotionally like this but somebody is i'm telling you somebody is watching this person is coming back what is this eight of wands here in reverse here spirit and this seven of pentacles here in reverse here this eight of wands here in reverse here 
And the Seven of Pentacles here in reverse here, Spirit. Eight of Wands here in reverse here. And the Seven of Pentacles here in the Spirit in reverse. What is this? Yep, here the Five of Swords here. Okay, so the final thing before you left, you stood your damn ground. And you let it be known that you're not the one to be fucked with, to be toyed with anymore. And you went on about your merry way with this healing from this situation. Here you got the Eight of Wands here in reverse. Again, you got it. You really don't want to deal with this at all. Okay, you had to let it be known. Like, listen, enough is enough of this. I'm not too sure what the argument is about or what. It's something here. Let me see. What's this Three of Cups here in reverse here, Spirit? For Virgo, what's this Three of Cups here in reverse here, Spirit? What's this Three of Cups here in reverse here, Spirit? I mean, you, um, you, you moved on. What's this Three of Cups here in reverse here, Spirit? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. Ace of Cups here. Okay. Oh, the Ace of Cups here. Give me two more. Give me two more for the Three of Cups in reverse spirit. Give me two more. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you totally protecting yourself. Hold on so y'all can see. And the Eight of Cups. Absolutely. Look at this. Beautifully done. Beautifully done, Virgo. Listen here. This Three of Cups here. You're not fucking with these people no more. These third party situations. Low vibrational folks. The Eight of Cups. You walked away and you're moving into higher grounds. Okay? You totally blocked yourself off. That's with this chariot card coming in. You're defending your space. Defending your property. Defending your spirit. Your energy. Your money. This is, this is you. You're fighting them all off. Okay? That's a good thing. Let me see, Spirit. What you want to tell us about um, this chariot card here? This chariot card here. Virgo. What is Virgo quickly moving towards? Okay. That's the Ace of Wands in reverse. The four of wands here and the tower here. What I'm getting from that is that it's like you have totally, you're holding back and you're blocking yourself off. Okay, because you realizing with this tower card here, like shit is not gonna change. And you know that even with the six of the the, the six of swords here in reverse, that's like just staying into bad choppy waters. Okay, so this could be a relationship, the king and queen of wands. This could be you just moving away from a relationship and you come to a realization being with this person. This energy is not going to change, but they are definitely watching you, holding on to the memories of you, the person from the past. They are your past. If they happened yesterday, they're, they're your past. And when, the, the day you walked out the door is when you put them in the past, okay? But they are watching you and I'm going to let you know that they're going to come to you. They're going to come to you when you, they're trying to find a way on how to approach you. See what I'm saying? Holding on to the memories of you, not wanting to let you go. Did I want to use this one? Let me see. Where's my other? I thought I bought my other card. Let me see. Let's take it from spellcasters. Let's see what spellcasters want to tell you, Virgo. But good deal. You walked away from it, spirit. What you want to tell Virgo? Just read, Spirit. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What other messages do you want to give Virgo, Spirit? What other messages do you want to give Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Finding 
Okay, Virgo, when you walking away, now it's time to like find yourself, your heart's desire. Look how the world card here. See, you felt incomplete dealing with this person. Look at this. But now look, once you walk away, look, look, look what you step into. Okay, that's like cornucopia. Because look, you had to release yourself from that controlling type of energy. Okay, so now you're on your own, but it's going to be good. It's going to be, I mean, look at that. Oh, shit. Let's pull out two more cards because y'all know I like to do things in threes. Finding love for self. You are beautiful. You are handsome, Virgo. You know, you can manifest the shit that you want. This is all about transformation. But they crying over you, though. Boundaries. Setting boundaries from this person. This is why you got the eight of wands here in reverse. This is why you have that big fiery ace of wands like don't you dare think that you're going to come over here and just get back in my good graces again. I done set boundaries, boundaries. Look here, boundaries. It's showing up in the oracle deck. Boundaries. You're fighting off all these evil, fighting off all these toxic people, these low vibrational people and standing in, standing your ground for your high vibrational self. Like who the hell you take me for? Like you got the sword at their throat. This is why they are afraid to approach you right now. But they're gonna come, they, they're, they're gonna approach you. They're gonna find a way. And look as I said, that manifestation. Some of y'all, y'all animals don't even like this person or these people. Give us one more card here, spirit. We'll burn off. Have compassion. And I feel like what this compassion is, Spirit is saying, Virgo, continue to be closed off and, and, and until you heal yourself and you ready. You ready. It's not on their time. It's on your time when you're ready. It's not on nobody's time no more, but your time, Virgo. Have compassion for yourself. Heal because the world awaits for you. There are some things in the world that you that needs to be seen is what I'm feeling. Okay. This is why it's all about here finding yourself. Okay. So with that being said, Virgo, I am K-Star, and I'll see you next time. Bye.